Red squirrels are one of Britain's most famous endangered animals. And here in Cumbria, they take squirrel conservation very seriously. That's why I'm here, to investigate how they go about monitoring squirrel numbers. I mean, no. I mean, it can't be that easy. I've been sat under this tree for ages, and I've only seen two. Come to think of it, they look quite similar. They could have been the same squirrel. Oh! Hey, cut it out, you guys. I'm trying to help. <sighs> so what are the variables that affect the red squirrels in a reserve like this? Well, this is nature, so just about everything you can yeah. imagine. Um, the weather is a major factor. Um, both in their day-to-day -day activity. Obviously, if it's wet and windy, they don't really want to come out. Um, but also in terms of the autumn seed crop, that's the most um, fundamental thing for red squirrels. If the seed crop in the autumn fails, then it means their survival over the winter is going to be very limited, and their breeding the following spring will also be much lower than normal. It is very difficult, and, and you have to um, count them as best you can. What we actually do is we walk on the set routes and count the number of squirrels that we see and from that we can calculate a population density estimate. So that gives us a number of about 300 squirrels for the site. 300 squirrels? How accurate is that figure? Well, it's, it's not totally accurate but it's, it gives us an estimate and, and what we really want to do is follow trends. to count how many squirrels there are from year to year. So we've got to make sure that we're not actually counting the variables. We need to cut those out as much as we can. So um, you said weather was quite important. Well, what we do is we tend to choose two times in the year when we know that the squirrels are going to be really active. First is sort of late February, early March, just as the weather's starting to warm up. The squirrels are starting to breed, so they're really active and, and out and about. And again, in October, the weather's still nice and, and it's not really sort of become wintry yet, but the squirrels are really active, storing food up for the winter. So you need me to do my count exactly the same as it's been done in previous years? What you've got to think about is, is the route through the wood. Um, we have a set route and you need to walk that exactly the same way as the person last time, so right down to the speed that you're walking. Right, because if I went charging along the route, I wouldn't see half as many squirrels as if I ambled along slowly. That's right, so the way you need to do it is to walk each 100 metre section at a nice steady pace, taking about five minutes. How'd you get on? Right, I've done 1.2 kilometres and I've spotted five squirrels. Right, that sounds about right. How does that fit in with everything else? Well, we'll have to incorporate it with the rest of the data that's been collected, so it'll take a while to go through, but that looks pretty good. Excellent. 